Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a trabeculated urinary bladder with ureteric stenosis or ureteric stricture at ureteral vesicle junction and loss of renal function on the affected side. You can see this is the right kidney, this is liver and both are eco normal. The kidney is a shows no sign of obstruction, no stone, no mass or cyst is seen. The left kidney shows the gross adenoprosis with the mild hydrogeurethor and the ureteric stenosis at ureteric ureterovesical junction. You can see the kidney and the kidney loss, there is loss of the kidney function. As you can see, the renal cortical thickness is minimum. The size of the kidney is also reduced due to the renal parenchymal disease as caused by the ureterovesical stenosis at ureterovesical junction. And this was basically resultant of the trabeculated urinary bladder which caused the stenosis at ureterovesical junction. Now the affected side you can see there is gross hydronephrosis but there is minimum ureter. You can see the ureter is not dilated. There is minimum hydroureter as the obstruction side, the stenosed size site is at the ureter of the junction. There is no stenosis seen in the pelvic ureter junction. Trabeculation of the unit bladder affects the amount of urine that a bladder can hold and the way that it is emptied, a tabulated bladder is no longer able to expand when filled with urine and contract when emptied. This cycle can lead to urinary incontinence, infection and kidney damage. Now you can see the whole of the ureter is traced and you can see uh, there was no stone visible and there is stenosis, there is stricture at the ureterovesical junction due to the presence of these trabeculi and the chronic urinary bladder infection. You can see these are the small trabeculi. The normal bladder wall had a mean thickness of 2.76 mm when the bladder is almost empty and 1.55 mm when it is distended. There is a linear relationship between bladder fullness and bladder wall thickness. The upper limits are 3 and 5 mm for a full or empty bladder respectively respectively. The normal bladder capacity before you feel any sensation of urge is about 300 cc that is 10 ounces. Normal widening volumes are 200 to 300 cc that is 7 to 10 ounces with the first morning widening usually being the largest at 400 to 500 cc. Now you can see the trabeculation the stretching of the bladder wall can increase the size of the bladder from about 2 inches to more than 6 inches long depending on the amount of liquid. The typical human bladder reaches its capacity between 16 to 20 ounces of urine but the urge to urinate comes with when the bladder is about one quarter full. The symptoms of the in large bladder can be frustrating and this can cause the urinary tract infection. That, but the condition 
on its own is not a grave health concern once the enlarged bladder has been developed it is unlikely to return to its former state however the symptoms can be man- ma- managed so that they cause less stress to the person affected again you can see the there is no stone seen in the ureter bladder outlet obstruction can arise from a number of conditions affecting the urethra and our bladder outlet but it is most commonly in encountered in elderly men due to prostate enlargement the bladder can regenerate like nobody's business and now we know why the bladder is a master at self repair when damage is uh, when damaged by infection or injury the organ mend itself quickly calling up upon specialized cells in the lining to repair tissue you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks